it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Years ago, it used to be really difficult to get hold of Dartmoor Brewery beer. If you were lucky, you could get jail ale in something like Morrison's. Morrison's would be the supermarket back in the day. And it would only be like on a Morrison's beer festival where you could find jail ale. Well, weirdly, and I'm going to say weirdly, I went down an aisle in Morrison's, in my local Morrison's supermarket, where I never go. It's that aisle where you can buy lemon juice and cake mix and that sort of thing. But halfway down on the left hand side, they have a reduced section in Morrison's. And for some reason, we went down for some cake mix yesterday. Me and the wife went shopping. And yeah, very weirdly, in the reduced section, but it wasn't even reduced. This is the funny thing about this. This is Dartmoor Brewery's Legend Ale, 4.4% ABV, brewed in Princetown since 1994, 4.4%, um, black bottle cap. Yeah, this wasn't even reduced. This was just sitting in the, re in the reduced aisle with that same sticker of, um, buy three bottles get your fourth free or you can buy it on its own for two pound a bottle so i went ahead nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening by the way i went ahead and i just bought the one beer because i thought i don't want i don't necessarily want four of them maybe this is the most delicious beer in the world and maybe i should have bought three and got my fourth free but I just decided on the one to review here it is so this cost me two pounds one finger white head a deep chestnuty coloured beer good levels of carbonation do the maths by the way for me if you could do the maths for me um so if I bought three bottles for that would have cost me six pound I would have got my fourth free, so one pound fifty. That would have made it one pound fifty a bottle rather than two pound a bottle. You guys are better than maths at me. Do the maths. Put it in the comments down below. It might even be one seventy five a bottle. Anyway, on with the review. Slow moving carbonation. This is a traditional ALN. This would be a probably a slightly higher ABV than JLL, Sli slightly higher. Maybe where you had like courage, just courage ale. Maybe this is the, the equivalent of courage directors. If you're thinking about the jumping quality, maybe this is the, the the Dartmoor legend that is Courage's directors, if, if that makes any sense. Let's get the aroma on the beer then. It's got that really biscuity, slightly musty, sweet cherry cola aroma to it. Real malty, biscuity, sweet breadiness coming through. Zesty as well, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of berry, like a, like a maybe a blueberry or a raspberry or something in there. That's of course coming from the hops, not real blueberries or raspberries used in the beer. Bit of stinging nettle. Very traditional. This is typical British ale. Typical British ale. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. 
but I like it. I like it. We do things differently here in the UK. We are a very unique brewing nation when it comes to traditional real ales and bottled beers. Now this review is my fourth beer review of the morning. I've reviewed a Helles Lager, a Munich Gold and a German Export. So three German style lagers that I've reviewed this morning. And I ended up with this. This is my fourth beer review of the day. And although I love drinking German lager, I absolutely adore it these days. I just drink so much German style lagers. Fascinated by the stuff. There's still something about what we do here in the UK that has that kind of, that same satisfying level of quality. That same satisfying smile on your face. You know what you're getting. It's biscuity, it's bready, it's hoppy. There's a little bit of bitterness on the back end. It's very refreshing because you're thinking of all of the, it's very nutty. There's rye in here. I get this kind of spicy rye and nuttiness that's coming from the beer. But it is very refreshing, very refreshing beer. I suppose the flavours can cloud. The flavours can really cloud just how refreshing the beer is because you're thinking of the nuttiness you're thinking of the breadiness like I always go to Asda and I always buy that you can buy a really good quality loaf in Asda it's like got it's a very dark coloured loaf it's almost dark brown in colour and it's got rye and it's got a multitude of different nuts all over the top of it an extra special loaf from Asda and it's just tremendous. It's a tremendous loaf of bread. But if you if you were to rip that loaf of bread or rip a chunk off that loaf of bread and get your nose into it and smell it with all the nuts and all the dark brown bready goodiness, goodiness, goodness about it. It would be quite the same as putting the nose or your nose <coughs> into this beer. <coughs> And experiencing the same thing. Dartmoor's a really cold place. Now, I'll tell you an interesting story. My wife actually lived in Princetown for about six years of her life. And she said um, she would constantly be snowed in on the way to school. Um, you had to light a fire. Central heating wasn't enough. You had to light a fire. It was literally freezing, freezing cold up there. But she remembers the smell of the brewery. She remembers the smell of Princetown Brewery. Uh, the, that's what they call it, Princetown Brewery, but Dartmoor Brewery. And they must have started off because they're in the middle of nowhere. Dartmoor Brewery are in the middle of nowhere. They're right up. Right up, Princetown is right up in the mountains, right up in Dartmoor. So they either bought a cheap plot of land and built this brewery. But the fact, the very fact that this brewery is, you find it in Morrison's, and you sometimes see it in Asda and other supermarkets. I find it fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Have a look at where Dartmoor Brewery are on the map. Have a look. And have a look how difficult it is to distribute this beer, like, all over the south of the UK. It's a nightmare. We're talking, like, single track lanes. Single track roads, single, single track lanes in the middle of Dartmoor. <coughs> 
not only brewing this beer, but getting it out of Dartmoor in the middle of winter must be a... Because, and this is the point here, I'm reviewing this on February the 20th. So right at the back end of winter. If this beer got to Morrison supermarket, it would have been probably December when it already would have been snowing in Dartmoor. The fact that they managed to get it to Morrison's in the first place is just a wonder as far as, as, far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> so, um, a classic ale, a smooth, full flavoured, balanced with a crisp malt fruit finish, golden brown in colour, with an aroma of freshly baked bread and a hint of spice. There we go. I mean, I didn't read the back of the label. I always talk about freshly baked bread in my reviews. This superb beer is traditionally brewed using the finest malted barley and hops at the highest brewery in England. Here we go. 140... 1,465 feet above sea level. Dartmoor Water adds a unique sparkle to this famous beer from the lands of legends. Dartmoor Brewery's beers have been brewed by consumers, have, have been enjoyed, sorry, by consumers across the southwest and beyond since 1994. Long may this brewery continue because I love JLL. I love this beer. I've heard many stories about Princetown. My wife lived on Hessery Terrace in Princetown. I've heard many stories about Princetown. I would love to go one summertime, bit of camping or something along the lines. Go and see where my wife lived for so many years. She had some fantastic tales about Dartmoor and how bleak it was, but it was beautifully bleak at the same time. Yeah, I'm going to rate this. Legendale by Dartmoor Brewery. I can imagine drinking this with a fire going in a Dartmoor pub while the wind's whistling outside. Sitting there content in front of the fire. It's a great beer. Considering I've reviewed three very good German beers this morning, and this is my fourth, this is a very good beer. It stands up against the German beer but in its own unique way. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 for Dartmoor Brewery's Legend Ale. <coughs> Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.